is Laurie Rees. I'm the children's librarian here at the Felipe de Neve Library. It's my job as children's librarian to engage schools in the area and families so that children will not only think to come to the library but want to and not only for homework. Um, and there's still a lot more work I need to do. So I'm, I'm very grateful for the families who come, but I know that there are more families that um, um, need to know about the library and, and come here as well. We are going to visit the ocean a little bit from where we were last week, but first, let's, uh, let's sing a car, a song about a car. So here, this is a, uh, there's a car. So, so here's a song. Um, take me for a ride in your car, car. Take me for a ride in your car. Car, car, take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your car, car. Now we're going to add some vehicles, but I hope everybody will join in. So how about this? How about a airplane? airplane. Who's been in an airplane? You ran on an airplane? Me too. Okay. So we're going to change the lyric just a little bit, and if you all would please sing with me. Take me for a ride in your plane, plane. Take me for a ride in your plane, plane. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your plane, plane. What else? What else? How about this? How about a... A truck. A truck. The bus is coming. So we'll change the lyric just a little bit. And if everyone would please join in. Take me for a ride in your truck, truck. Take me for a ride in your truck, truck. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your truck, truck. Who said bus? Leanna, did you say a bus? Yes. Here's a bus. Bus. School bus. Oh, oh. It is a, it's a, school, it's a school bus without the, uh, the, the trimmings there. So we'll change the lyric just a little bit. Take me for a ride in your bus bus. Take me for a ride in your bus bus. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your bus bus. Now the other day we did a whole Train. story time with trains. Trains. Chuck, 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 chuck. Woo okay. So we'll change the lyric just a little bit. Ready? Take me for a ride in your train train. Take me for a ride in your train train. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your train train. And the last one, because we're going to be spending some time in the water today. Uh, How about a, a boat? A boat. A lovely boat. A lovely boat. So, not a motorboat. Alas, no. Alas, no. So, last one. Take me for a ride in your boat, boat. Take me for a ride in your boat, boat. Take me for a ride, take me for a ride, take me for a ride in your boat, boat. So we started with our car, then we went up in the air to the plane, then to the truck, then to the bus, then to the train, and then to the boat. So we're going to climb onto the boat and sail out into the water to revisit some of the creatures we saw last week at our lives of the slimy and squishy to I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Is it an octopus or is it a giant squid? Let's see. This is I'm the biggest thing in the ocean written and illustrated by Kevin Sherry and I chose this book because last week we had a special guest um, who, uh, who brought her program called The Lifestyles of the Slimy and, and Squishy. So we saw sea stars and sea urchins and anemones. And so in this book, we have lots of creatures from the sea. She did not bring a whale, nor did she bring an octopus. But I just wanted to carry over the theme from last week, which is what I like to do with my, with my weekly story times. I have a theme, and then I, I finish it off one week, and I carry over a little bit to the next week, and then introduce something else at the end of that one. So. This is, this is why I chose this book. I'm a giant squid, and I'm big. Really big. Very big. He's not as big as a soccer ball. I'm bigger than these shrimp. They are tiny. They are tiny. I'm bigger than these shrimp. I'm bigger than these clams. I'm bigger than these clams. Muscles, if you want to make by use the muscles. 
I'm bigger than this crab. crab. I'm bigger than this crab. Hanging on, hanging on. I'm bigger than this crab. I'm bigger than that jellyfish. That jellyfish. I'm bigger than these. So let's count the turtles. One, two, three, four, five. Five turtles. I'm bigger. I'm bigger than these turtles. I'm even bigger than this octopus. And an octopus is distinguished by having how many legs? Eight. Eight legs. I'm even bigger than this octopus. I'm bigger than that shark. I'm bigger than that fish? This fish? That is Nemo. And that fish. I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Uh -huh. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. He be dead. Where are we now? In the stomach. <laughs> the turtle, Nemo, the pufferfish, shark, jellyfish. I'm the biggest thing in this whale. I'm bigger than plankton. <laughs> so just visiting, just visiting from where we were last week. So we're going to keep with big for just another moment. So big, written and illustrated by Mike Wanutka. And I chose this particular book to keep the theme going of big. And the letters are so prominent on the title page. And I like to point out the letters and trace the letters. So that's why we chose so big. So big. So big. This bed, look at this. So big. So big. And notice the cereal is called big. <laughs> so, so big. So, so big. And where do you think the bear is going? Off to school. Off to school. So big, I'm going off to school. I'm going off to school. So big. So who do we have now? The, the squirrel. And an elephant. So it all depends on uh, who you're standing next to. So big. So this is a a school bus. And who's driving? Leon. A lion. So big. Because who came in now? Where's the rhino? There's the rhino. Oh, excellent. Excellent. So big. The letters are big. The letters are bold. There's an exclamation mark. So we say the word so big. It does indeed. It does indeed. We've got the steps. We've got the brick. The American flag. Indeed it is. Oh, there they're going into. Not so big. Not so big. Oh. Not so big. <gasps> too big. It's too big. <laughs> Look at the tears. Look at the tears. It's too big. 
But not so big. Not so big. Not so big. When you look at me and say not really that big. Not too big. Not too big. Just right. Just right. Just right. They're friends. They are friends. Okay, we're gonna do a, another brand new book, and then we're going to do a little cha cha cha. And everybody says meow. This is also a brand new book. It came into the library last week. Again, lovely letter recognition on the title, written and illustrated by Constance Lombardo. And this has nothing to do with the ocean, but it's just the um, the silliness, the pussy cat sleeping while standing up, and getting to make all of the sounds. Let's spell meow. We have the letter. E O W. Meow. So, everybody says meow. Everybody says meow. Welcome to that magical time when everybody says meow. Ready? So, on the count of three, on the count of three, one, two, three. Meow. Woof. Who's that? A dog. dog. Woof. Woof. And this pussycat is <laughs> sleeping. No, no, no. Everybody does not say woof. Everybody says meow. Got it? Woof. Woof. Can you say meow? Woof. Please say meow. Woof. Meow. Woof. Woof. <laughs> New plan. Everybody says, meow. And one guy says, woof. Are we ready? Still sleeping. Still sleeping. So on the count of three. One, two, three. Meow. Passed out. Still sleeping. Woof. And who's here? Ribbit. Ribbit. Who says that? Ribbit. 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 Did somebody say, ribbit? I'm going to close my eyes and count to three. And when I open my eyes, no more ribbit. One, two, ribbit. ribbit. Bummer. Another new plan. Everybody says meow, one says woof, and one says ribbit. Ready? On the count of three. Oh, so almost right because he sees the, the mariposa. On the count of three. One, two, meow. Woof, ribbit, quack. Who's this? A duck. A duck wearing a lovely purple hat. So. And the yellow cat's still sleeping. Sleeping, standing up. So, meow, woof, ribbit, quack. Did you just say quack? Any chance you could say meow? Quack. Is that your final answer? Quack. Okay, welcome to that magical time when everybody says whatever they want. Meow, <laughs> meow, 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 woof, ribbit, whack. <laughs> We're going to come back to this page. <laughs> That's right. We have the letter R O A R, exclamation mark. The letters are big, the letters are bold. And we say them with expression. So on the count of three, another roar. One, two, three. Who says roar? The lion. The lion. Or a tiger. Or a tiger. Or a bear. Or a bear. Or a jaguar. Or a librarian without her coffee. I mean, who roars? Who roars? Was it something I said? Is it something I said? So, let's go back and let's read this page. Meow. All these. Meow. 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 Woof. Ribbit. Whack. So let's all read these together, shall we? One eyes open. So ready? Meow. 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 Woof. Ribbit. Whack. So. 
There they are. All right. Now, we have to have an aerobic portion of this afternoon's program. Every Tuesday afternoon, we have a family story time for all ages. Once a month, we host a family art workshop sponsored by the Los Angeles County Museum of Art. We have another partnership with the Hammer Museum in Westwood. Our adult librarian has uh, a monthly loteria. She also has some craft programs for families. And then in the summer, once summer reading comes, um, all the stops are pulled. And we have programs, at least one program, if not two programs, every week all summer long. So we are a 12-month-a-year full-service library. We're going to do this song first with clapping and then with our, with our feet. And then we're going to hand out some shaky eggs because everything is better with shaky eggs. Yeah. So, it's called My Body or Mi Cuerpo. Mi Cuerpo. So, we'll start first, we'll sing it through in English, and then we'll add some Spanish. So, the hands, so, like this, right? My body, my body makes music. My body, my body makes music. My hands go, my feet go, my, my mouth goes la la la, my body goes cha cha cha. Okay, we're gonna do that one more time in English and then we're gonna pass out the shaky eggs and we're gonna do it in Espanol, okay? So, my body, my body makes music. My body, my body makes music. My hands go, my feet go, my mouth goes la la la, my body goes cha cha cha. I like coming to work every day and being surrounded by the, the treasures of literature written for young people and also being able to, um, to share, to read aloud. We're going to do it now in Spanish. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace música. Mis manos hacen, mis pies hacen, mi boca hace la la la, mi cuerpo hace cha cha cha. Okay, let's do it one more time. Mi cuerpo hace música. Mi cuerpo, mi cuerpo, hace música. Mis manos hacen, mis pies hacen, mi boca hace la la la, mi cuerpo hace cha cha cha. Bravo, bravo. Last summer, this particular branch turned 90 years old. 90 years old. We had a lovely birthday party. And we've been on this site, I like to call it our grassy knoll, for 90 years. The, the wing of the, of the workroom and the teen area were added after the Whittier earthquake, but the basic rectangle has been here for 90 years. One little turtle, all alone and new, soon finds another, soon finds another, and then there are two, uno, dos tortugas. Two little turtles crawl down to sea, they find another, and now there are uno. Dos, tres. Three little turtles crawl along the seashore. They, found an, they find another. And now there are cuatro. cuatro. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro tortugas. Five, four little turgo, turtles go for a dive. They find another. Cinco. And now there are five, shrimp. Cinco. five turtles. Uno, Cinco. dos, tres, cuatro, Cinco. Cinco. We've got letters, we've got numbers, we've got songs. So much, so much to do at the library. But let's stay at the water for just a little bit, just a little bit, and then we'll be wrapping things up. But first, mi agua. Mi agua. This is another brand new book. Brand new book. Fox in a, Fox and the Box. So what, Fox and Box do what? They rhyme. They rhyme. They run. Fox in the Box. Fox in the Box, written and illustrated by Ivan Ivanson. Here, introducing rhyming, our fox and that magnificent tail in the box, waving hello. 
But this brought us back to the water where story time started. And also, it brought us full circle to the whale from I'm the biggest thing in the ocean. Fox and the box. Fox and, and, a, and a bear. And a mouse, or ratoncito. Fox in the box. Fox. Box. I see it. I see it. And a crab. And a crab. And a bear. Fox. Box. And a wheel. And a bear. Sail. Tail. Look at that big tail. Oh, I think it's a dog. Oh, I see a dog coming out. Oh, we'll see. And there's two, there's two. Oh, that's, that's dos, a dos, dos patitos. Sail, oh, oh. tail. Oh, no. Tail, sail, fail. Like, like tail. Oh, fail. Oh, no. Sail. Oh, he got wet. He got wet. Sail for sail. Homonyms. They sound the same, but are spelled differently. Sail for sp sail. Who's behind? Who's behind this? A bear. bear. Ah, Big see. one. <gasps> A grizzly bear. bear. Shell. Sell. Nail. Sail. Nail. Sail. Ship. Trip. Don't tip. Oh no! Don't tip. And look at the size of this tail. It looks like a cloud. Don't tip. Don't okay, tip. I tip. Boat. Float. Boat. Float. Fox. Box. Sail. Oh, no. Hail. Gale. A strong wind. Gale. Oh, no. Tossed. Lost? Yeah, lost? Lost? He's lost. He's lost. Pale. Bail. Bail out the water. Bail. Bail means you're, you're bailing out. You're, you're covered. There's a lot of water in your structure, and you bail yourself out to remove the water. Pale. But you often bail yourself out with a pail. Sea. Sea. You see the sea. Help. Me, where's the fox? Where's in the, the fox? The in the middle of the yeah, ocean. Yeah. Help me. Spout, shout, turn about, which is a nautical term. Turn about. It's a whale. Oh ho ho. It's a whale. Thank it's you, dark. big blue whale. Who said that? Huh? Oh. So we've come full circle full circle with our, Whale. even though this is a book about a fox, we are on the ocean. So we'll end with one, one more book. I'll bring out the, um, the building supplies, bring out the building supplies and invite everybody to stay here. If you brought your, your library card, if you brought your um, library card, either the traditional or like this, please check books out. The Perfect Seat written by Mindley and illustrated by Gus Gordon. Also, there is, at the beginning, the size, so too big. So we, are, we talked a little bit about too big at the beginning. But then at the very, very end, after going through too big, too small, and what better place to read than in someone's life. But to celebrate reading and celebrate sharing books together, the perfect seat, the perfect seat. And now we're in the world of moose, moose. So we'll pretend we're in Minnesota in the world of moose, in the moose. Now there are Can you read to me? Of course, but first we have to find the perfect seat. Lots of good places to read, but what's the perfect? That's a perfect seat. That's a perfect seat. Too big. Too big. And too. And notice they're now sitting on a fire hydrant. 
What? Kind of too small. Yeah, it looks like too a minion. Big. Too big, too small, too old, too new. Too rough, too slippery. Where are they now? On the slide. Too slippery. The book goes off. Too slippery, too slippery. Should the perfect seat make you this dizzy? Spinning round and round. Oop, too thin, too thin. Too wide. wide. Too wide. Too tall. Too short. Too short. Too funky. Too funky. Too fancy. Too fancy. What about here? Are you okay down there? The moose fell into the Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I give up. I give up. Found it. Found it. Perfect. It's a, a lovely place to read in someone's lap. In someone's lap. So, thank you all so much for coming to Family Storytime this afternoon. This is a perfect place to be. Todos los martes a las 4 y 15. On your mark. Get set. Go, go.